بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈی اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ایم سی کیوز آف ایجوکیشنل اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ دیز ایم سی کیوز ول ہیلپ یو ان دا پریپریشن آف آل ٹائپ آف ایگزامس ناؤ وی کم ٹو دا فسٹ ایم سی کیو اسٹیٹسٹکس از ا سمپل کریکٹرسٹکس a population characteristic normally distributed unidentified data so the right answer is a statistics is a sample characteristics next question a parameter is a sample characteristic a population characteristic normally distributed unverified data so a parameter is a population characteristic a parameter is a population characteristic next question a researcher is curious about the iq of university students the whole group of students is an example of a parameter statistic population or some sample the right answer is population next question statistical techniques that summarize and organize the data are called as sample statistics population statistics inferential statistics descriptive statistics so the right answer is descriptive statistics now we move to the next question in a 400 meter relay race time results would be related to which level of measurement nominal ordinal interval or ratio so it is related with the level of measurement ratio time is related with ratio next a teacher asks her student to identify their favorite cartoon program the type of measurement scale related to different cartoon programs is nominal ordinal interval or ratio students it is related with nominal right answer is nominal which is not a categorical variable age gender locality marital status students out of four options you can see that gender is a categorical variable locality is also categorical variable marital status is al- also a categorical variable so the one option is left that is age so age is not a categorical variable now we see the next question The basic objective of a sample is to draw dash about the population from which the sample is drawn. We have four options: conclusion, decision, inference, parameters. So the basic objective of sample is to draw inference about the population. Next question: The histogram shows a series of bars that likely to decrease in height from left to right. so the shape of the distribution is normal negatively skewed positively skewed or leptocurtic the right answer is positively skewed when you can see in histogram the series of bars likely to decrease in height from left to right so the shape of distribution is positively skewed next question if the distribution has kurtosis of 0 then the graph is nearly normal this nearly normal distribution is called leptocurtic mesocurtic platycurtic platycurtosis so it is related with mesocurtic next question the mean for the scores given in the frequency distribution is students you can see a table is given over here two columns in first column values from 1 to 5 given 
and the, in the second other column you can see the frequencies so you have to find out the mean so how you calculate you multiply 1 with 1 answer is 1 then 2 into 3 is 6 3 into 2 is 6 4 into 3 is 12 5 into 1 is 5 so add 1 6 6 12 and 5 so you will get 30 and add up the frequencies 1 plus 3 4 plus 2 6 3 9 plus 1 10 so you have sum is equal to 30 and frequency sum of frequency is 10 so 30 divided by 10 is option C is the right answer right next question the median for the following data set 3 5 4 1 and 9 is you have to find out the median it's very simple first you have to arrange these numbers in any order decreasing or increasing so you can see uh, if you arrange the, the this data set as 1 3 4 5 and 9 so you can see that you will clearly find out that 4 is the median of this given data set so right answer is 4 next question which of the following data set has the greatest variability range so you have four data sets in option a 3 5 8 11 option b 12 all numbers are 12 in option C 15 20 21 22 option D 33 34 35 36 so when you calculate in option A highest number is 11 and lowest number is 3 so 11 minus 3 is 8 in option B the range is 0 option C highest number is 22 lowest number is 15 so 22 minus 15 is 7 and in option D 36 minus 33 is 3 so the right option is option a because when you subtract 3 from 11 you will get 8 so this data set has the highest greatest variability means range next question normally distributed data is typically referred to as bell shaped irregular peaked skewed students you know that the normally distributed data is to be typically referred to as bell shaped next question failing to reject the null hypothesis when it is false is type 1 error sampling error type 2 error estimation error students it is type 2 error now we move to next question the most commonly used device of presenting data business and economic data is called line diagrams pictograms pie diagrams or bar diagrams so the right answer is bar diagrams next question the intercept in linear regression denotes four options are given the strength of the relationship between x and y another option the expected x value when y is zero the expected y value when x is zero d option of population parameter so the right answer is the expected y value when x is zero next question a scatter plot shows the frequency with which values appear in the data the average value of groups of data the proportion of data falling into different categories scores on one variable plotted against scores on a second variable the right answer is option d scores on one variable plotted against scores on a second variable now we move to the next question in a data set the variance is the measure of kurtosis position skewness spread so variance is the measure of spread next question the variance of test scores of 16 students is 25 the standard deviation of the test would be 
फोर फाइव सिक्सटीन और ट्वेंटी फाइव सो स्टूडेंट्स वेरियंस इज गिवन वेरियंस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इफ यू टेक द स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव यू विल गेट फाइव सो द स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ऑफ द टेस्ट वुड बी फाइव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द वेरियंस फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा सेट यू कैन सी ऑल नंबर आर टू सो वुड बी टू 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 एंड टू वुड बी जीरो टू फोर एंड एट यू कैन सी दैट द वेरियंस इफ द नंबर्स नंबर आर सेम इन एन डेटा सेट देन द वेरियंस इज जीरो राइट आंसर इज जीरो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स हु डू बैटर इन हाई स्कूल फिजिक्स tend to do better in college physics so this is an example of correlation perfect correlation positive correlation negative correlation or zero correlation so if a student students perform well in high school physics then they also tend to perform better in college physics physics so it is positive correlation next question anova stands for what analysis of averages analysis of variance analysis of variability analysis of values so its answer is analysis of variance next question when we compare the means of only two groups we use the type of statistics ancova anova manova t test so when we compare the means of only two groups we use t test next question when we compare the means of more than two groups we use the type of statistics ancova anova manova t test so in this situation when we have more than two groups so we are not going to use t test we will use anova so right answer is anova next question the statistical test which is used to identify whether there is a relationship between two categorical variables is called its students t test spearsman correlation test pearson's chi square test man witten test so students the right answer is pearson's chi square test next what is the null hypothesis for a chi square test both variables have equal means both variables are dependent both variables are independent and both variables have a significant relationship so in this situation we have the answer both variables are independent dear students thank you so much thanks for watching please like this video subscribe the channel and also share this video to your fellows uh, i hope that you have learned a lot and this will make you uh, easy in helping you and also helping you in pre preparation of your exam take care allah hafiz